Are we doing missions the right way? First of all, do no harm. Shepherding is for the benefit of the sheep, not for the shepherds. You know, when you think of somebody wearing nothing but this and going to church, we have to learn to see things the way they see things. We're confusing culture and the gospel. I'm not anti-missionary, quite the opposite. Missions isn't building buildings. And I say we do need to go back to the drawing board and find a better way to do what God is calling us to do. Author and speaker Steve Saint knows missions from the inside out. He was part of the most famous missionary story of our time. His father and four missionary friends were killed by Indians in Ecuador in 1956. Steve has spent time on the mission field, supported missions, and lived with the same Indians who killed his father. And in this series, he leads us on a journey to explore today's missions dilemma. I'm confident that if you could see and feel what it's like to have current North American missions done to you, you would want to reevaluate how you do missions to others. I have no positive experiences of missionaries coming onto the reservation at all. So many people have come to fix us that, oh Lord, please don't bring another, you know, person to fix us. We've been fixed so many times, we're a real mess now. In Italy, we have to learn to walk on our own feet. Otherwise, we become like a mama, 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 depending always on the Americans. We have to learn to walk on our own. So continuing to work like the mission fields are still the same is making a mistake. This is our mission's dilemma. Are we going to do MOTS, what I call MOTS, more of the same, or are we ready to wrestle with these issues and figure out how to do it better? Missions has become a billion dollar industry. Almost every church offers an experience in short term missions, but who really benefits? Ask yourselves this question. What does short-term missions accomplish long-term? Bearing in mind, our instruction from God is to make disciples who make disciples. And I said to him, did you have a short-term team here? He said, yes, we did, but we had to let them go. I said, what do you mean you had to let them go? He said, well, let me put it this way. We built buildings before they came, and we're going to build buildings after they leave. But while they were here, they thought they were the only people who knew how to build buildings. But the feel-good thing is usually a little cycle of do a good thing and then award yourself some, some goodie points, some feel-goody points. And, uh, and, and congratulating yourself that you were so compassionate. I mean, you had this Mother Teresa thing going like all afternoon. Saint intertwines stories from his own experience and challenges the church to wrestle with some tough issues. It's been an eye-opener. It's been thought-provoking. It really challenges you in how you think of missions, short-term and long-term. This is gonna be a great resource for us to watch with our missionaries, with the indigenous people that we serve alongside, and use this as a tool to talk about the, the things that we've listened to and we've learned and see it from their perspective and also learn together what the answers to the questions are of how we do missions better together. I just feel really excited, uh, really encouraged, and definitely feel convicted about being a better steward of what I've been given. Steve struck the, the vein of America's pride in uh, going through and thinking we know how to fix the world's problems. A seven-part DVD curriculum series designed to create discussion among church leaders and all who are involved with missions. Missions Dilemma will challenge us to rethink the way we do missions.